I'm in tune now. Don't be surprised. It's <laughs> right. Right. There's a genre. There you are, first foreign word of the night. A genre of, um, of, of songs in bluegrass. And the, there's a genre called cabin songs. They're the songs that are about, you know, wouldn't it be great to go back, out, back home, but it won't be the same when we get there. You know? <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. It's a bit like when I go back to Saddleworth, you know, they've, they've, they've torn everything down, including most of the hills. <laughs> So, this is called Blue Ridge Cabin Home, Mountain Home, sorry. It hasn't got a cabin in the title. It's a bit scared of the fact he's looking down to see what it's called. <laughs> and then he gets that wrong as well. Well, that's close. Does that mean we haven't rehearsed this one? No! No, we do rehearse. I mean, a lot of people don't think so, but we do. As you can see, that was a different song. <laughs> I use fortunate in inverted commas to have two banjo players. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of a waiting 
by the great English folk song collector, uh, Cecil Sharp, when he toured the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, it was brought back to this country, and um, it was then adapted by some free jazz musicians into a free jazz improvisation. This is all true. No, it is, honestly, I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg this time. This is true, and it was, a, it was heard by a young London musician called Ian Dury. Of Ian Dury and the Blockheads Spain, and Ian Dury heard this thing and turned it into a song. See if you can spot the song. Right? <laughs> I've got him spot it. And this is for Jeff at the back. He's made it so awful when we got here and everything. Cheap coffee, no. Absolutely. Oh, he's been playing it for a song. Big round of applause. Come on, round of applause for Jeff. Hang on, everybody is organised nice now.
with their less talented Southern Appalachian cousins, Seth Lennon and Cletus McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> the song was composed by the Beatles and decomposed by us. <laughs> We'd like some audience participation for this one. Oh, yes, yes. There's a, there's a chorus, it goes, na na, na na na. Which you think, I manage that? That'd be alright. Most people, I think, should be able to manage that. Yeah. Right. There's always something important about the chorus, so it's quite important that you sing it between the verses. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite warm up here. <laughs> Makes a change. Yes, it does. We're not, we play a lot of gigs in barns in November. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Especially when they decide to light a fire next year to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> that was some fire. It was. <laughs> Flames were about 20 feet in the air and we stood on a stage with straw, straw bales all around it. Yeah. Yeah. I was having a wicker man moment. <laughs> <laughs>
we like people. 